Hi, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? All good. Thank you. So, Preetam, congratulations on your result. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, tell me, how are you feeling now? How is the experience now? Right now, I'm feeling quite relieved because my parents were so worried about me taking a drop here. So, it's a relief for me. Good. Very good. So, what are your future plans now? When you will you be you you live you come you have already come in Delhi or still time? No, I'm still in Manipur. I'm I'm coming next month. Next month. Okay. Okay. So have you looked out for uh, the North Campus, some cafes, somewhere, you know, where you will be exploring, what you will be doing? Yeah, uh, I'm. I know North Campus because I studied in Chhatrapati College. Uh, right now I'm leaning towards IIT Delhi. Oh, you will not be joining DSC. No, I'm, I haven't decided yet, to be honest. It's quite confusing. I have accepted both the city locations. Okay, okay, good. Why Delhi? IIT Delhi over it? It's mainly because of the bath size only. Ah, got it. Okay, both are good brand names actually. <laughs> and Yeah. have a good legacy. Uh, IIT Delhi just has one edge uh, that it is going to go ahead and give you some uh, programming knowledge also. Yes, ma'am. If you are Python, machine learning, you can join those, uh, you know, groups, AI groups, and, you know, you can uh, go in that field also. Yes, ma'am. And uh, DSC has the advantage that, uh, you know, they call uh, the best guest professors and they give you a lot of, uh, you know, uh, alumina-based reach. So very recently, you know, uh, we just... received um, a mail talking about uh, some more guest lectures right so and these professors they are from different uh, good universities so both colleges have their pros so yes up to you So I'll, I'll take some time on the signing, ma'am. okay so go ahead tell me how you prepared for it when did you do join the coaching and uh, you know how many time is one required to dedicate to this Sure, ma'am. First of all, uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your guidance and support. Without Arta Point, none of this would be possible. Thank you. Huh? So, uh, I did my bachelor's from Satyavati Evening College, and I had a BA program in economics and pol science. So last year, uh, things didn't go my way. So I decided to take a drop year and start everything from scratch. So I think I joined Arta Point by the end of July, and I started attending the live lectures from August onwards. So my plan from the beginning was to start slow and keep increasing the pace as the course went on. So I took my time in the beginning. And also I had another coaching for Indian economic services. So most of the most of the time in the beginning, I spent around four hours each day in coaching only. So I, for studies, I spent one and a half hours. So, and I gradually increased the pace as the course went on. And my main priority in the beginning was to cover up the backlogs for micro and do the TPPs and keep revising the lecture notes as the classes went on. And for micro and macro, I followed the live lectures and I completed all the TPPs for micro. And for macro, so I almost completed all the TPPs. For stats, it was kind of hectic for me because it started along with the macro classes. So it was hard for me to keep following up the lectures. And I, was able, I wasn't able to do all the DPPs for stats. So what I did was I did only the advanced lectures for stats. Okay. And for maths, I did only the intermediate lectures. Okay. And I practiced the uh, examples from Hammond. And I recaptured my basics from R.D. Sharma. So uh, by the end of November, I roughly completed the syllabus barring econometrics. So I started attempting the mocks uh, in the last week of November for JAM. And in the last two months before JAM, my main priority was doing the mocks and doing the PYQs hmm. where the solutions were given in the portal. So that's what, that was it for JAM. I kept revising it as the exam kept closer, keep, keep getting closer. And for CVT, uh, I did the Indian economy lectures from the portal and the priority was the same. Just keep doing the mocks and do the PYQs and keep revising. And the most helpful thing during the preparation for CET were the revision classes. They were so helpful for me. 
yeah, it was very short and precise. And especially for international economics and maths, the lectures were so helpful for me, man. So that's how I went about my preparation. So, you know, I like many students, they tell me that revision sessions are, you know, very useful. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but this time, as you know, I had mentioned in the group also that in uh -huh. fact, compared to other times, I have taken a bit less of the revision sessions because of some, uh, you know, personal issues. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, then also if all of you found it useful, I'm very, very glad that, you know, it helped. Otherwise, uh, you know, usually our revision sessions, they go for three to four hours every day. I think this time we had maximum one and a half, two hours revision session. Yes, so, uh, yeah. I kind of think that if we do these revisions, it, uh, you know, it helps you revise the concept also, but it also helps you practice the MCQs the way that they will be asked in exam. Yes, ma'am. So how about the question bank? Did you complete that? Yeah, I completed the question bank uh, for especially for math and stats because I wasn't able to do the DPPs mm -hmm. and for micro and macro, uh, I think doing the PYQs was more than enough for me. Mm, okay, got it. And, and the mock paper also. And what about the mock papers? How many uh, did you attempt and what score you were getting? So for the mock papers, uh, they were the game changers for me in the preparation. Okay. So what I did was uh, I did my revision along with the mocks. So mm -hmm. I took my time with it. For GEM, uh, I attempted 8 out of the 10 mock papers. And for CVT, I did all of them. Okay. So what I did was, in the beginning, I didn't score much. I was able to score mostly around 30s. 30s. Then my score kept increasing. I think my, the highest I scored was around 44 or something for uh, for GEM. For that CVT, my marks, my, my marks kept increasing and increasing. Okay. At some point, it goes 200. And it stayed there for some time. And... So the strategy which I used for mock was that I kept the separate register for mocks. Mm -hmm. And before jumping onto the next paper, what I did was I uh, revised the questions which were difficult for me. And I kept learning from the mistakes mm -hmm. which I made during the paper. So I took my time with it. And, and I used these notes before the exam to keep revising my mistakes. That's the best way. Yes. That's the only reason why I have gone ahead and given a recorded solution of the yes, questions, questions. They were so helpful. Yes. Because you should not only like solve, but you should go through the recording of what I am saying in the solution. Because I tell 10 different things in the solution that just keeps, yes. to, you know, it helps you to revise. So it, that's the best way, actually. Many students, you know, many, many students, they came to me and they told me that, ma'am, just give us a PDF of the mock paper. We don't want to look into the solution. Mm. But I told them, no, you have to look into the solution. That is where, you know, you will learn 10 different things. That yes. will change the game for you. Yes. I also revised the concept related to the questions yeah. by watching the, watching the video solutions. That is the best way, actually. Yes. That, I mean, that's the reason that it has been made in that way, that you listen to them and you revise them accordingly. So, uh, Pritam... One last question I have for you. Sure, ma'am. You know, many students, they, you know, start at a good pace, but they take a dip, uh, you know, during the, say, you know, we have these, uh, uh, the Shara break and Diwali break yes, and so on. So how to ensure that you keep the pace throughout the year? See, uh, this was the problem that I had last year in my preparation. I started really hard. So... In the beginning, I was studying a lot. And when as the exam kept clo get, getting closer, I wasn't able to study much before the exam. So this time around, I was aware of it. So what I did was I started slow. Uh, in out till September, I think I studied for only two hours a day. Yeah. Then as the mock paper started, I, st I started studying for around four to five hours a day, just slowly, slowly. And and for when it comes to burnout, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this because uh in the week in the week after just a week after the exam there was gate paper and i wasn't able to study anything i don't know what happened how it happened but i wasn't able to study anything for a gate so i didn't do well in gate but i recollected myself after gate so i told myself i have to be serious for CVT. then i started again i think the best bet will be to start slow that's right slow but consistent do yes it. yes it's consistency is the key All Right. Okay, so Pritam, I wish you all the luck for your future ahead. Keep me Thank in so wherever you are in life. And, uh, you know, whenever you get placed, this is what I tell everyone. 
I really am very interested in understanding the different places in, you know, corporate sector. Once you go there, just all, you know, whether you go into the, you told me IES, whether you go into the services, whether you go into placement, wherever you're in life, just keep in touch and keep me informed. Sure, ma'am. All the glory and honor belongs to our point, ma'am. Okay. Good. Thank you. Huh? Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Good night, ma'am.